Institute there, but he is something called a physiatrist, which is a word that not many people know, but once they find themselves in your office, they're very grateful to have you. So welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I had cause in my life personally to use a physiatrist once uh, over at Siskin. I did not know until talking to you, but it makes sense that within the physiatry world, you specialize. That's right. right. So correct. your specialty is within the spine. That's correct. So what is it that you're doing at the Neuroscience Institute? To so help we avoid? specifically work for treating people non-operatively for their spine problems. Uh, we work uh, very much hand in hand with neurosurgeons uh, within what I do currently uh, to help people get better without operative intervention. Most people with spine problems get better with conservative care. We utilize things such as physical therapy, injection techniques, exercise programs to help people get better and to avoid surgical intervention, uh, which is really the goal. Those that need it, we, we, we help them get the surgery they need. Well, the working hand in hand with the other uh, departments is a real um, common theme you find at Memorial. Y'all like to work together Absolutely. on things. So if you have a patient who comes to you and you are trying these more conservative approaches but something is just not working, then you can pass off, correct? Absolutely, and I collaborate with my neurosurgeons all the time on cases. That's the beautiful part of our practice. When you have somebody like me that does the conservative care within a neurosurgery group, I have two wonderful neurosurgeons I work with currently that if I have an issue or a patient I'm concerned about, we review scans together all the time. If I have a, I can quickly get the patient in to be seen for surgical intervention. Mm -hmm. and, and that collegial relationship is excellent. Okay, so forgive my ignorance here, but typically when I, and I have conversations like this with, with people pretty periodically on the show, typically we're talking orthopedics when we're talking spine, yet you're talking about the neurosurgeon, so can you that's Explain an that. interesting conception in this community. Uh, there are two doctors that do spine surgeries. That's orthopedics and neurosurgery. Neurosurgery does a lot of training. Half of a, a six plus year residency in neurosurgery is spent on spine. They actually spend a lot more time doing spine work than orthopedics does in their initial residency. Most orthopedics that do spine work end up taking a fellowship because they need extra time and training to do that. Neurosurgery from the very beginning is concentrating on the brain and spine as part of their residency program. Okay, so within these conservative approaches that you're going to take, uh, if somebody, would it be something, I'm gonna say as simple as, okay, but as routine, if you will, as um, a slipped disc or something? Absolutely. So people that have herniated discs or slit, commonly known as slipped discs and develop what uh, commonly known as sciatica, uh -huh. with nerve pain that shoots down the leg. Most people's discs will get better over time and most discs will heal themselves. Okay. And part of the role of what we utilize is things such as physical therapy and exercise. We'll often use injections techniques like an epidural to help calm the inflammatory process around the nerve to allow better blood flow into the area. Try to stimulate some of Mother Nature's natural healing processes to get better. Okay. Those that don't, we can, uh, their beautiful intervention, uh, uh, non, uh, minimally invasive techniques mm -hmm. that they ha have developed now that are much smaller surgeries for taking these out. But 70% of people with a slip disc get better conservatively and don't need surgery. Okay, so you do something too called, is it radio frequency ablation? What is that? Yeah, so for people that have developed arthritis of the spine, especially of the joints and the posterior part of the spine called the facets, uh, that have significant back pain mm -hmm. that is not relieved with, you know, conservative mechanisms again, physical therapy, home exercise program, uh, uh, that have been dealing with this chronic back pain. What we can do now is through a technique with a very small needle that has a radio frequency wave at the end of it, we generate a small zone of heat which uh, kills the little nerve that goes into the joint. That basically de-innervates the joint so people don't feel the pain back there anymore. That typically will last for a year or more. Over time, the nerve will regrow, but you just can come back and repeat the procedure. It can give people significant relief that have been struggling with low back pain for, for quite some time. I have like a minute left. Um, when you hurt, and you hurt chronically, which back problems often cause, the last thing you want to do is hear, let's wait a while. How long do people typically 
go through this conservative approach? Um, so, you know, when we have, it depends on what we're dealing with, right? Mm -hmm. So somebody comes in with a herniated disc, we're not waiting a while for that. We're starting very aggressive treatment right from the get-go. Mm -hmm. And people that can't progress within, say, six to eight weeks mm -hmm. or 12 weeks, that they're not better, we've tried the things, or they're getting worse, we move on towards surgical intervention. Okay. And I tell my patients that, but we want to give it at least most insurances and payers won't pay for anything for six weeks right. unless they're seeing a progressive loss of function or, or those type of things. So we want to try some conservative treatment, maybe move then to the next stage, which is trying like an epidural or something like that. Mm -hmm. But if those things aren't successful very quickly after that, we can move on towards the more aggressive things. Thank you for the conversation. Oh, so nice to be here today. Thank you for having me. Here's where you will find him, Dr. Paul Huffman uh, with the CHI Memorial Neuroscience Institute right there at the main campus on Glenwood. The phone number is 206-9480 if you want to call uh, and see if he can help you with any back pain or neck pain, I guess, too. That's right. That you might be struggling with. Thanks. Yes. Thank you so much. Feels good to be home. Ashley's Fall Home Sale is going on now. For a limited time, get your home fall ready with up to $1,000 off customer favorites that are in stock and ready for delivery or get 0% interest.